Let's go over how to set up your own direct bookings from start to finish. The first thing you'll need to do is go over to ownerreservations.com and then click sign up. Here you'll be asked to enter your name, email address, and create a password. Then you'll add your credit or debit card and you'll agree to our terms and conditions and privacy policy. And you'll also check that you understand the pricing. I'll go ahead and fill this in right now and we'll continue on. Once you've entered all your information, go ahead and click create your free account. Now you'll be taken through the setup process. Here you'll be asked your business name, phone number, and website, along with the currency you use and which time zone you're in. You can also select whether or not you use a business name or you do everything under your personal name. I'll go ahead and enter in my info here, and when you're ready, click save and continue. Next you'll be asked how many properties you want to add. You can click to add one property for now, or you can add multiple properties in bulk right now. We're gonna go ahead and just add one property for now. We'll go ahead and click continue. Next you'll be asked what the property is called and the location of the property. When you're ready, click save and continue. Here we see the property we just added and if we'd like we can choose to add another property or add multiple properties. We'll go ahead and click continue. Next you'll be asked what your seasons look like. You can choose I only have one season. You can choose I just have two seasons. You could choose I have more than two or you can choose my seasons are complicated and are based on certain specific dates. We'll go ahead and say we only have one season for now and click continue. We'll see a new season has been created that goes from January 1st to December 31st and we can add another reoccurring season or we can add a specific date season. For now we'll go ahead and click continue. Then we'll be asked to set the nightly rates for that season. We'll go ahead and set this to 300 and we'll go ahead and leave the weekend night alone. Then we'll click save and continue. And now we see that we're all done with the initial setup. And if you scroll down, you'll see other steps you may want to do to get your property ready for taking direct bookings. We'll go ahead and scroll up to the top and go to properties. Here we see the property we just created. Now let's import all the property data for this property from our Airbnb listing site. To do so, click on import from Airbnb. Here you'll be asked to enter the listing page URL and then instead of clicking add new property, we'll go ahead and update the existing property we have, Poppy's Hideaway, and below that you can check what you'd like to import. We want to import everything, and up here we'll go ahead and add our listing site. Once you have pasted the URL here, go to the bottom and click import. Now we see that the import was complete, and all these items were added into Onares. You can click into that property and see everything that was added from the description, amenities, photos, and everything else. Something important that you'll want to check is the rules. We'll go ahead and click change. Here you can set all the rules for this property. Currently we have the default $300 security deposit and we'll go ahead and leave that alone. Next we'll scroll down to size restrictions. Here's where you would put the maximum amount of guests you allow in this property. We'll go ahead and put six and you can also choose to allow pets or not allow pets and you can set rules for adults and children as well. There are lots of different rules in this section, so we advise you to check this out before taking any direct bookings. We'll go ahead and leave everything else as is and click save. Next we'll go ahead and import the iCal link from Airbnb into Onares and export the iCal link out of Onares. That way Onares will block out Airbnb when you get a direct booking and Airbnb will block out Onares when it gets a booking. In the calendar section you'll see the calendar import option and you can click import calendar. You'll need to add the iCal URL here. To get that, you'll need to go to your Airbnb account, select the property, and then click Availability. When you scroll down, you'll see an Import and Export Calendar button. To get the Airbnb iCal export link, you'll need to click Export Calendar, then Airbnb will give you a link, and you'll come back in here and paste it in the URL box. Here you see it automatically put the listing site as Airbnb, and it gave it the name Airbnb iCal. We only want to import the bookings and that is automatically checked. Everything else we'll leave alone and we'll click save. Next we'll go back to calendars and click calendar export. Here's where you'll find the calendar export link for Poppy Sideaway. And if you click this button, it'll copy that link for you. What you'll do is you'll head back to Airbnb and then click import calendar and add that calendar in here. Once you've done that, both Airbnb and Onerous will sync back and forth and ensure that you don't have any double bookings. 
If you're going to connect the Airbnb API, you do not need the iCal links. It's also important to note you should connect any iCals from any of the platforms you take bookings on. This way, you can use Onares as the master calendar and be confident the guests are not booking dates that have already been booked. Next, let's go ahead and look at the rates for this property. To find rates, you can go to Settings, then click Rates. Here you'll see the rate calendar, and you'll see the 300 nightly rate we set for the season, which reoccurs and goes from January 1st to December 31st. You can change this here, or on the calendar, you can set spot rates by clicking and dragging, then clicking Set Rate. We'll go ahead and leave the $300 nightly rate alone, and now we'll go ahead and add a cleaning fee surcharge. To do so, we'll click Create Surcharge. We'll call this cleaning fee. We'll set this to $100. And you can change all this criteria if you'd like, but for now, we'll click Save. Once you've done that, you'll want to add your taxes. We'll go ahead and click Create Tax, and we'll create a state tax, and we'll give it the amount of 5%. And here you can set a lot of other criteria, but for now, we'll click Save. If you'd like to go more in depth with taxes, surcharges, rates, and seasons, check out our other videos. Next, let's add the default agreement. To find the rental agreement section, go to settings, and then we'll scroll down and click legal agreements. Here we can click create agreement. We'll give it a name. We'll just call this renter agreement. Then we'll click prefill form and we'll select the default agreement. You can always change this or you can add your own if you'd like. We'll scroll down and we'll leave everything else alone and click save. Next let's add a payment processor. To find that, go to settings, then scroll down and click payment methods. Here you'll see all the payment methods you can add. For whichever payment method that you want to connect, all you have to do is click connect and then you'll be asked to enter the API credentials, which card types you accept, and the credit card statement text and you can select which properties this will be applied to. I'll go ahead and add mine. Once you've added all your info, set the card types, and added a statement text, you can click Save. Now we see we have Authorize.net all set up and ready to go. Now let's set up a hosted website to take direct bookings. To do so, go to Settings, then scroll down and click Hosted Websites. Then you'll need to click Turn on Hosted Website, and you'll say Yes, Continue with Changes. Here you'll be asked to enter some info for the site. We'll go ahead and leave the name as it is. We'll go ahead and leave this as a single website property because we only have one right now. You can select which property, and here you can set the test location, and if you have your own domain name, you can set that here. Below this, you can set specific items for the website if you'd like, but for now, we'll go ahead and click Save. Here you'll be asked which template you'd like to use. There are three options, and they're all customizable. We're going to go ahead and use Comic Bands and click Save. Now the site is all set up, and if you go to this test link, you can view it live. All the info below is pulled straight from Onares. If you make a change to any of this in Onares, it'll get reflected on the website automatically. Now if we go back to Onares, let's go ahead and add a logo. To do so, you'll click on your name or business name, and then click Profile. Here you can change everything about your profile, and if you click here, you can add your logo. We'll go ahead and select this one for Hall Homes and click Open. Then click Save. Now if we go back to our hosted website and refresh, we'll see our logo is now at the top. Now you're all set to take direct bookings from Onares and any bookings you can find under the Bookings tab. Now let's take a look at this from the guest view. When they're ready to book, they can click Book Now, select their dates, then they can enter the amount of adults, children, and pets, and right here they'll see a detailed breakdown of all the charges. When they're ready, they can enter their name, email, and phone number, and then click Book Now. When they click Book Now, they'll be redirected to a checkout screen. Here they'll be shown the breakdown, and they can choose to add travel insurance if they'd like, and below that, they'll be shown what to pay and how they can pay using the credit card processor we set up earlier. When they're ready, they can click Looks Good, Finish Booking, They'll add all their contact info here, along with their home address. Then they'll click Continue to Renter Agreement. Here they'll see the renter agreement that we set up earlier, and they can scroll through and read the entire thing. Then they'll put their name here to digitally sign, and click I Accept Submit Payment. Here's where the guests will add their credit card info and their billing info. Once they've entered that, they can click Continue to Confirmation, and here they'll be shown all their billing details, 
and they can click confirm and finalize now. Now the guest sees that they're all done and the booking has been saved. If we go back to our OwnerRes account and refresh the booking page, we'll now see the booking that the guest just made. And we can click in and see all the details about this booking. To go more in depth with all the things we showed in this video, check out our other videos in our support docs. That is how you set up your own direct bookings from start to finish in OwnerRes.